Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time, we're going to be taking a look at a game that has actually been somewhat highly requested for a little while now, uh, especially coming from one very vocal person. They know who they are. So we're going to be taking a look at Silent Bomber, which is a PlayStation 1 shooter, but with a twist. So... It's an action-packed, uh, if I could talk, that'd be great, arcade-style game developed by CyberConnect2 and released for the PlayStation in April 2000. Actually, a relatively late PlayStation release then. So, gameplay. Unlike traditional shoot-em-ups, Silent Bomber focuses on using bombs to defeat enemies. Players control Utah Fate. <laughs> yeah, that's our name. Uh... Uh-huh. Anyway, a war criminal who uses bombs to destroy enemy facilities and defences. Special bombs. Utah can use different types of bombs such as napalm, gravity, paralysis, each with unique effects. Development. Silent Bomber was the second game developed by CyberConnect, known for later titles like the Dot Hack series and Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Interesting. So... I guess that means they're still in business. I don't really know. I know nothing about Naruto, and <laughs> that's just the way I want to keep it. Plot. The game story follows Utah Fate, who is drafted into a covert mil military operation to destroy a colossal space dreadnought called Dante. Ah, also has a mul uh, multiplayer mode. The game features a unique two-player mode where players can battle against each other using the bosses from the game. That's interesting. Ah, all right then. Well, let's take a little look, shall we, at Silent Bomber. So I have had a quick look at the controls because they seem to be, well, <laughs> a little bit, should we say aged, I suppose? Um, you know, the, these sort of games do have rather unique and archaic control methods and this game doesn't appear to be any exception to that. Now I have played through the tutorial and the tutorial is actually really cool because uh, there's a bit of story to it. Quite a dark story as well, which we approve of. shell of a man now nothing more than a killing machine sounds good to me looks like we have some awesome 90s style or I suppose 2000 style Utah? playstation I'm cinematics Utah. which There's we like in your immediate proximity it has a marker on it so assault teams destroy all enemy anti-aircraft weaponry but that's impossible there are still targets remaining Sounds like we have children giving us orders, which is very anime. So we're merely pawns in some elaborate game that will determine the fate of the world, is that it? They all sound like kids. The player is going to be fortunate enough to checkmate fate, I wonder. And there we have it, Silent Bomber. I mean, I'm not really sure how you can be a silent bomber. Seems to, you know, be counterintuitive, but what do I know? I like the music. The music is very good. Presentation is also very good, straight off the rip. Okay, so let's go for, let's have a look at options. So I've checked out the button config before. Um, it's, there isn't a lot of controls, as you can see. But <laughs> the game is pretty hectic from what, I, what I've seen in the tutorial. So we've got M-Liquid. That's our um, augmented bombs. Now, 
Ah, uh, you know what? I'd, I'll just talk about it when we get into it. So we actually can place our bombs down, and then we have a separate button to make them explode. Which uh, I didn't realise <laughs> when I was trying to play the tutorial earlier. Uh, I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> the buttons, they do nothing. But then I realised that I was being a silly fool. Anyway, let's go new game. And we are going to go for the tutorial, just because it's quite interesting. It's got a... Mm, we, we find out how Utah became, well, Utah, I guess. Back then, the battlefield was all I knew of the world. And the voice, the voice that issued orders to me, was the only thing I could believe in. Utah, Utah, come in. This is Utah. I'm ready for my instructions. Very well. This will be your first taste of real battle. Fulfill this mission and prove to me that your training has paid off. I'll give it everything I got. Now, I will say, I do get quite the Metal Gear Solid sort of vibe from this game. And also, the voice uh, acting, at least from what I've experienced so far, although a lot of the characters do literally sound like they're children, the quality of the acting is actually very strong, which is good. So, D-pad runs us around. Uh, we have no control that I know of over the camera. We can also use the analog stick as well, but yeah, these old PlayStation games, most of them, not all, but most of them, do play better with a uh, D-pad, I think. But this one's not too bad for an analog control. You know, being 2000s, I would assume that this was an analog-supported game. But it does get a little bit confused if you move the analog stick a little bit too quickly, so... Yeah, okay. Anyway, let's continue. First, remove any obstacles that stand in the way of the squads coming up behind you. Then, plant a bomb on the marked area. I like how calm that voice is. You know. Alright, now stay clear of the blast radius. Yeah, you can hurt yourself with your bombs. That's not, that's not a situation you want to get invested in, to be honest. Alright. Now this time, you'll use a stack to blow it up. Stack? A technique employing multiple explosives to increase the blast. When you set it, hit the button twice. What I like as well is their subtitles. That wasn't very common back on the PlayStation put some 1. Distance between you and the bombs. There. That'll do it. All right, not bad. Careful, Utah. There's an enemy unit approaching from up ahead. Engage them with the add-on equipment we airdropped. Destroy the container and retrieve the lock-on unit. Okay, the lock-on unit is very important. Enemy at close range! Okay, listen. I'll explain how to use the lock-on unit. First, hold down the set button and call up your sight. Alright, so. Even gives Fix us a little diagram. And lock on. Now so, th up on the button. this is how we actually conduct combat we actually have to lock onto an enemy and then you just you release the button enemy. which Hit fires a bomb button. onto it it's a little bit funky well a little bit weird pick up the material dropped by the enemy but you sort of do get used to it what you have there is a highly volatile liquid using this in conjunction with your bombs will result in more powerful and deadly explosions look at the yeah. window located to the side of your life gauge note that napalm is currently selected Push the button and try using it. So, we can drop an A-palm with uh, B, and then we can use Y to detonate it. That's enough. When you've obtained various types of liquid, you can switch among them with the item select button. <coughs> mm -hmm. Which is left and right Just on the Just don't forget that these are exhaustive uh, items. Ones, I should say. So, yeah. Um... Although it's not B and Y, is it? It's triangle and circle, because <laughs> we're on a PlayStation. So I don't really understand the napalm weapons, because unlike when we use the uh, scope and we can attach bombs to enemies, it looks like that is only something we can do with the standard bombs. Because if we go to use the uh, napalm or one of the other flavors, should we say, you just push B and it always drops them below us. So whether there's just something I'm missing, Eliminate I'm not this sure. Final obstacle on your own. At eight. 
So we just need to blow this up. I'm not sure if there's like a specific way of doing this in a really efficient manner. Now we can upgrade our weapons, uh, our bomb thing, by uh, collecting e chips. But I'm not 100% sure what exactly changes. We've detected another enemy group. It's a large one this time. Oh no. If you quickly push the jump button twice, it will activate your burst drive. Yeah. Put it to good use and make your way through their attack. So we can fly around essentially, sort of. Uh, it's very janky and difficult to control. So uh, it's going to take some getting used to. Anyway, we've got some drones to deal with. These drones are decently reinforced. It looks like the fire actually does hurt them as well. I wasn't sure if it did. Locking onto these enemies that fly around above us is somewhat challenging. Due to the nature of how the camera works. And there are certain sections like this where the camera is just shit and you can't control it. So it looks like we have a large hover tank. One thing I will say is the enemy designs for the vehicles are really good. I really like them. Certainly is a Metal Gear Solid sort of feeling to the whole thing. Oh, that's painful. So let's take this tank out anyway. Luckily, these hover tanks are a little bit useless. And somebody running around <laughs> throwing bombs at things can easily outmaneuver one. I do like the hover jets on the, on the bottom of it. Eat a dick. What's this place? It's an enemy stronghold. Burn down the entire installation. Roger. <sighs> the, those are but, but I thought there were soldiers in here These people are ci civilians Calm down Utah Burn everything to the ground is why we are a war criminal. I guess. sensors, then six assault teams will infiltrate. Providing we can get that close, of course. Our codes are flawless. If we can really trust these codes, shouldn't they have sent in a crack military unit or something? Don't you think, Utah? My only duty is to destroy my designated target. I'm concerned with nothing else. Boy, you just can't wait to start blowing things up, huh? <sighs> get this straight. We're here to save Hornet. Safeguarding our planet is the objective. Excuse me. So we're merely pawns in some elaborate game that will determine the fate of the world, is that it? 
Then which player is going to be fortunate enough to checkmate fate, I wonder? We are entering Dante's security zone. <laughs> Don't know what Mass Chief's doing on board, but hey. Not good. I'll try for a belly landing. <laughs> Utah. Utah. We're fine. Come in, Utah. I am reporting no damage to E unit. Now commencing the operation. All right, so mission one, the raid operation has failed. Every time an A cannon fires, another one of our landers is blown to pieces. If this keeps up, the assault team will be wiped out. Destroy all anti-aircraft batteries. Now, I will say the tone of this game is really dark and I like it. I like it a lot. I like the characters. I like the voice acting. Even the, the soundtrack is pretty solid. Visually, I know it's a late, PlayStation 1 game, but it looks good as well. Um, yeah, I, I've been quite impressed with this, actually, and the music's great. There's an E-chip, an E-unit power-up, hidden in that box located in front of you. Destroy the box and get the E-chip. Yeah, so these E-chips upgrade our explosives, I think, but I'm not exactly sure how they upgrade. Now, pretty much everything can be destroyed, we have some little drones that are going to come and say hi. Now these drones, again, the design, very uh, like 2000 anime, very Metal Gear, very Japanese, very good. I'm a fan. We can destroy the uh, drone devices there as well, which is cool. The beam gate has generators on either side. Destroy them. It shall be done. We can pretty much blow up everything, which you would expect in a game called Silent Bomber. Enemies do appear to spawn in infinite quantities unless you destroy their um, little generators here, which I like. All right. Now, I do like that really calm voice that was talking to Utah through his training, kind of like indoctrinating him into murdering all those civilians, uh, turning him into the cold killer that he became. What's that? Oh, that's health. Cool. Right, let's keep going. Music is fantastic. So, alright, we can do that. Yeah, blowing yourself up is a the real thing in this game. That's not good. Oh, nice. <laughs> Quit complaining. Because they're shooting us down, my dude. I like the chatter. Chatter's cool. This is uh, certainly a game I think if I had as a kid, I would have really enjoyed it. I thought that was a pickup box, but 
looks like some kind of turret. Kiss my ass. So it looks like it's going to be heavily point based. You're going to be able to get like mad scores and things like that. But I don't really care too much about that sort of gameplay, to be honest. So yeah, that's plus 10% life. Ooh, hello. Let's take you out. Must keep remembering to destroy all of these boxes as well, because they give us stuff. Gravity liquid. I wonder what that's about. Oh, E-chip. E-chip plus one. Right, so fire actually hurts us as well, which is interesting. I guess it makes sense. You would have uh, assumed that our armor would give us limited explosion resistance, considering, you know, bombing is the name of the game. Let's take out this generator. I will say the game runs very nicely as well. It's very smooth. Obviously, this is emulated by a duck station. Not sure how it actually runs in the PlayStation. Ah, got to be careful of those explosives. The explosions are really satisfying as well. Very important to get right. Yep. I am absolutely digging the visual look of this game. It kind of reminds me of Machine Hunter that I played um, not that long ago now. It's a similar kind of aesthetic to it, I guess. Very different game, of course, but just that bleak sort of futuristic dystopia, which I actually really like. You must be careful with those bombs. Do keep forgetting that we can do this. Um, aerial kind of dodge thing which, well I'm not sure how important that is going to be I'm going to assume relatively looks like we have some kind of anti-air lasers here oh look at that really is satisfying okay, so we can only put two bombs down at once by the look of things, maybe that gets upgraded later, ooh, hello I guess we're going to find out. So we can swap to which special weapon we have. Let's try one of these out, shall we? I don't know what one that was. Is that like electric power? Oh no, that might be the cryostasis or whatever it was. Because that was stopping the uh, thing going in and out. Interesting. So I think there's just three different types of... Uh, secondary weapons. I'm sure they all have their uh, uses. Right, that turret's gone. Any other little weapon lock-up boxes that we can find? So we've got 7 out of 11 targets. Ah, oh, there's more. I will say these uh, uh, weapon defences are comically useless, which is pretty good otherwise we'd be in trouble. Ooh, more storage boxes. Oh, oh, plus 50 health. Okay. E-chip. Oh, look. Look at our bomb display up on the top right there. Looks like all the anti we now have three. This area is out of commission. So does that make the them more powerful? The marker is the next place you should go. I don't know if that makes our weapons more powerful, or does it just allow us to have more of them? I'm not sure. Alright, let's go. Ooh, we have a boss. Oh, that thing looks badass. Like spider tank. I like it. Oh, that's oddly specific. I'll eliminate the targets. Get clear. She said those. Does that mean there are multiple? Looks like we can lock onto different parts of this as well, which is kind of interesting. Let's get one of our... Oh, yeah, so there we go. That paralyzes it. Good to know. Ooh, what's it doing now? It's got a shield. Okay, noted. And it's got that... Ooh, okay, so it's going to ram us. Noted. So when it pops up that shield, I'm guessing it's invincible. Yep, 
looks like it. We might still be able to bomb it there. Uh-oh. Oof. Not today, Satan. Uh oh, maybe today then. There we go. Yeah, this is okay. We can actually slip through the other side of it. Good to know. Looked like it was a little bit too close to the wall there. Uh oh. We do appear to have a decent amount of life, to be fair. Let's try another one of our explosives. Yeah, doesn't appear to hurt it when it's got the shield up. What I would have liked to have seen is some kind of dodge ability without having to use the jump. Because that is a little bit obnoxious. But I'm sure it's just something that you'll get used to. Maybe. You just have to be pretty switched on. Yeah, so even when the shield goes up, if you've got bombs on it, it doesn't affect it. I wait for the shield to go, and then nuke him, Rico. That was poor timing. There we go. Kiss my ass. Took a lot of damage there, though. Target has been destroyed. I haven't been able to raise Benoit. Are you picking him up? No. No. I see. At any rate, let's look for a way in. All right. So the mission continues. Look at that, the wreckage there, the way it's just like burning. That looks cool. I'm a fan. Is there anything else to pick up around here? It'd be nice to have like um, a little bit of control over the camera, but I suppose the game takes care of that for us. We move pretty quickly as well. Certainly a unique shooter. I haven't really played anything where you drop and place bombs like this. It sounds like a pretty funky concept on, on paper, but in practice, it works well enough, I suppose. Oh, that's the end of the mission. Mission clear. Hey, we got the D. We like getting the D. Wait, what? So we've got data save, E unit. What's this about? Oh, we can customize. Ah, wait a minute, right, I see, so I'm guessing the next upgrade for bombs is going to cost us four E unit chips, we can upgrade the range, I don't know, I don't understand what the shield's about, set defense field power, percent reduce, is, oh, I guess that just means we take 10% less damage or something, okay. Interesting. Oops, should probably have actually, you know, used that. I like having the extra bombs though. Uh, you know what? I do like having the extra bombs. But 10% reduction in damage is pretty, pretty cool. Not gonna lie. All right, I do like to be uh, armored quite tanky like uh you know what i think we're just gonna save it here i'm gonna leave this video here short and sweet um so wasn't really sure what to expect about this game uh, i've heard quite a bit about it over the years uh, i've seen uh, a couple of reviews of it years ago um but it's good it it seems fast frantic the controls seem to be um okay uh, definitely a bit some of that you know early 2000s crust on there but uh, i think you could certainly get used to them i could imagine in fact i actually believe some of the reviews said this game does get really extremely difficult uh, later on which i can certainly imagine but maybe we'll return to this one day maybe we'll have a closer look uh, one day in the future however at the moment our schedule is pretty clear uh, pretty clear pretty chock-a-blocked i should say um but yeah for what it's worth i enjoyed this i think this is probably gonna be a pretty fun time anyway guys thank you very much for watching and as always till next time